this is a second part of a video and the video was called the double sided a uh, double pocket i think it was something to do with the double pocket um now this one i have went ahead and made a printable it's like a template of the double pocket for those who don't want to trace anything you just want to cut it out and be done and i have two pages this one that's the big circle you can just fold the sides in and then this one that is the flaps that go on the sides so you can print it out on an old book page which i did here so let's get started get my cord out of the way let's cut out two pieces your circle <laughs> and now your flaps my son Lodi helped me get this done on the flat part and I really appreciate that help one reason my twins are really good at using the program I use to do these printables so they get to help let's cut it out okay one and okay so that's two now we're going to put them on and see how they look just like so grab your glue of choice Just like so. Let's see how this turned out. Do I want it like this or do I want it like this? I will just leave it like this. And <laughs> I'll get it right in the shack. Let's see. If I do it this way, I can get it lined up better. All right. Just like so, and then we do the other side. This one's going to be upside down. Upside eye, is it? But I don't care. I'm trying to leave a little border this time to see how that turns out. Let's see, did I get my border on this side? Me. Yeah. Sort of. Okay. I think I want to trim a little bit of this side. Like I said, my printables aren't perfect. They're close. All right. That looks pretty good. But because they are not perfect, it makes them look whole more homemade when you get the finished project. Okay, now it's time to center it where you're going to want it. Whatever look you're going for. You want it up really high. I want mine about there, I think. There, there, there. I'm going to grab something. Don't know where my that ain't gonna work. That's gonna use the other end. Isn't. Ugh, can't believe I said ain't. Just 
Okay. Now, on this line that you have just recently made, we're going to cut. Like that. And trying to get it straight. Bam. Like that. So we got this part. Now, the flaps are, are going in, right? Now you want them to go the other way. Oh dear. You know what I just did? I put. How would I do that? Oh, okay. We're going to have to cut it. With the printable, you're going to have to cut it. Make it turn out correctly. Okay. So you've got your thingies. Now. If I want all to be like, like one piece, I'm going to have to. Eh, no, I'm going to worry about it. I'm going to do like that, and you can fold it under, or you can do another of my printables, the tickets, and put them across the bottom, or you can use my um, strips. I'm going to grab some strips, I think, for this. Okay. Before I put my strips on, I got to go ahead and glue things down a bit so it will be easier to work with. And then again over the top of that. Okay, so now I'm just going to place that portion on top and give it a smash. Okay. I'm wiping that off with the napkin and we're going to go ahead and do that. Now before I do though, I'm going to put my finger behind here and hit it with some black because somehow I cut off, I don't know, I put it on the wrong side, I cut off my uh, ink. But if you didn't cut off your ink like I did, you won't have to do this. I was trying to avoid having to do this, but I went the wrong direction. Leave it to me. Okay. And do it again up here. that. Now we're going to go ahead and put the strip across the bottom after I ink it. I like having it inked before like so. And we're going to 
turn it the other direction. Give it a top. Okay. We can add more later. That's just a start. You can also save your strip from cutting out the book page. There's usually a strip left from that. I wanted to add a little something extra with the music strip. It doesn't look good yet, so hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, like that. Like that. And if you don't want any of this showing because you're going to give it as a gift or something, then you're going to want to, you know, get it all the way across with something else. Maybe. Just a little something to get off there. Then you're going to take your vintage photo. Okay, so we got a bucket and we're going to add some more shading. And feel free to add other things, words, pick, uh, stickers, some pretty um, embellishments of any kind, little flowers, whatever. A little bit more. Okay, I love it. And I hope you enjoy making your pocket. Now, if you want your pockets to be exact the same, so you're going to have to um, pull this in a little bit, probably. But I, I, am, I don't mind it being a little off different there. You can have that as a pocket too. Or you can... Um, you can still have it as a pocket, even if you glue it down. So I'm going to glue mine down. Okay, I got mine glued down on the sides. And it's ready to go. You can put any kind of tags or um, bookmarks or even some postcards stuck in there would be nice. Anything you want to put in, I'll show you all three that I have together. Here's the one I freehanded. Right there. There is the one that I did with the plates. Right there. There's the one I did with the digital. They're all a little bit different. It's all very pretty. We like them all. So check out the digital if you want to check that out and 
we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.